Welcome, Cancers. This is Cancer's weekly reading. This is weekly reading for April 18th through the 25th. Thank you so much for your patience. We're going to first look into the Wisdom Oracle deck and find out your overall energies for the next week. Cancer, April 18th through the 25th. Welcome to my channel. Ooh, as you guys know, I will start off here where we will talk about how you're feeling, how your mate's feeling, and then we're going to continue to talk more about your relationship, get you guys some advice, and also find out your obstacles. So make sure you stay tuned to the Vimeo video as well. This is what we have for you this week, okay? All that glitters is in gold, and then we have chopped wood. So what this is telling you is things don't look as great as it seems. Like, I feel like some of you feel like what's, you feel like someone else has it good. Someone else has it better. Someone who's putting on a mask. Someone's showing you or making you feel like they're fine. And they may not be. This is about someone trying to start from the ground up, clean things out of their life. This is what's really going on, but you see it like this. This is someone starting something new, having an epiphany, and you see it like this. Cancers. All right, Cancers. Now let's go ahead to your Romance Oracle deck where we'll find out your past, present, and future, how you're feeling. And then we're going to move on to how your mate's feeling. And again, guys, I'm going to give you my spiel, right? My name is Marlena with Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. This is your weekly love reading. This is a general reading. Make sure you look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity. Like I said, um, I feel like it's something else I'm supposed to tell you. Oh, anyway, I'll figure it out later. Right now, make sure you guys... Um, Make sure if you like the video, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Let's find out what's going on here. So in the past, guys, religious factors was affecting your love life. This is it in the past now. So this is talking to me about, usually this is my marriage card. This is for those people. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So to me, this is usually about, like I said, this is an ideal, your perspective on how relationships should look. And you should have this perfect marriage, for lack of a better word. Um, but this is you losing that. This is you having one path, one religious path based up on your upbringing and you changing that perception of, you know, what that looks like for you okay let's find out how you're currently feeling how is cancer how are the cancers currently feeling we're going to love relationships I'm raising the vibrations for cancers thank you spirit we're raising the vibrations for cancer at this time this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Okay, Cancer. Near future. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Cancer for the near future? April 18th through. Okay. Near future. Separation. Woo. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. So there seems to be a separation right now due to an unrequited love. But let's see what this is about. Let's take it an extra step further. Like I said, guys, all that glitters is not gold. Somebody you think is really something's going great, and it's not. And this could be either you or the other person. This also can go vice versa. So as a part of my spiel, I'm supposed to say this can go vice versa. Because everything is flexible right now as far as time is concerned. When you watch this, this is when it's perfect for you, okay? So... Thank you, Spirit. Let's go ahead and look further. Let's delve a little deeper into this religious factor. So you changing your perspective of this. Um, I remember in a previous reading for you cancers, 
By the way, I'm a Cancer too. Um, in a previous reading, you guys were losing this. It was like, you know, the fantasy was gone. The blinders were coming off. What you perceived was supposed to be in regards to relationships, that changed. So that changed for you. And that's what this is talking about. When that changed for you, it's like things weren't going in this order. It, it's like things were supposed to be a certain way. And now you're seeing things like, well, it's not supposed to be. It, it is what it is, you know. So that's your changing of your mindset. So let's get clarity in regards to your relationship. What happened here in the past that made you change your mind? Besides the planetary alignments, because I really feel like everybody was coming to some type of epiphany this month and last month. <laughs> so this is about a conversation here. This is you um, having a conversation. This could be you, Cancers. Um representing you but this is representing your, your truth this is you speaking up for yourself this is you working that throat chakra talking about what it is that's really on your mind mm. some of you could be talking to a earth sign i'm seeing king of pentacles here as well as the pay, the knight this is the knight of pentacles so <sighs> So some of you may be getting into a trusting, loving relationship. This could be someone who's more loyal. I feel like someone may have been offering you something more tangible um, here in the past. So as a result of you speaking up for yourself, you're now gaining this offer, this offer of something tangible from someone who's doing well for themselves. Okay. This is something that you've manifested, okay? This also could be someone who deceived you, which is making you look at things from a different perspective. Yes, definitely in regards to love. This, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm seeing Gemini here as well. So this is the lovers, and this is also Virgo, that contemplation. So this is you contemplating where you were supposed to be in this relationship here with this person. And it looks like you were trying to manifest this offer. This a substantial, a great offer. This is not just any offer. This is a, a long-term offer, okay? We're also seeing here someone's coming out of addiction. So again, this could be you or your partner. I keep hearing that you need to think of this vice versa. Is this not just all about you? This could be your partner as well coming out of this. This is temptation. This is Capricorn. This is like that devil card right here. This is about confusion. So this is you coming out of this place of confusion, okay? cancers wow so this is what this is what you've been doing this is what you were doing before you guys were transformation this is transformation you guys were transforming a relationship this is a something came to an end in a relationship due to you speaking up to your up for yourself guys excuse me i'm just saying I, i'm still trying to get it together i wasn't going to do videos today and I, I just had to start getting these videos out for you guys today so please excuse me and my stumbling blocks i'm just telling you I, i'm i'm here though i'm here though and i'm feeling you guys um but i'm so proud of you I, i'm just so proud of cancer right now because some of you were holding things back and now you're starting to rele release you're starting to release this this feeling of things are supposed to be this certain way. Um, I'm also seeing the picture of poised um, in the Wisdom Oracle deck. In a previous um, reading I did for you guys, it was you guys. It, it was poised. It was also um, in poised is about how things are supposed to be. This is how you're acting, and you you came out of this place of being poised, like things are supposed to be a certain way. So again, this is what's leading you to this new level of achievement. Okay. This is, what's, this is what you've been working on. You've been working hard at this, Cancer. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out how you're currently doing. This could be the one. Now, usually when the past resonates with you, the current and the future will as well. Or if the current resonates with you, the rest will as well. But again, remember that this is a general reading. So I'm talking about Cancer right now. But like I said, this could go vice versa. So this could be you or your partner. So right now, you're feeling like this person could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah, you guys are out of limbo here. You are at a place where you are questioning whether or not this person was for you, okay? So this could be a fire sign, again, because it's a general reading, it could be any sign, but as you see, a bunch of males are coming up. So if I'm talking to the divine feminine right now, I totally understand, but I'm just letting you know here, this is the king of wands here. So some of you were in limbo in regards to, I'm hearing a Sagittarius fire sign. 
So um, now you're starting to feel like this could be the one. Yeah, I feel like some of you were in limbo. Maybe your partner was in limbo as well, and maybe you were also not feeling appreciated. I feel like some of you felt like you weren't going to be successful. This person, you were in limbo on whether or not this relationship was going to be successful. So you were at a crossroads, or you're at a crossroads. But this week, I feel like you're you're coming... This week, I feel like you're coming out of limbo, but you're still at a crossroads and you're just questioning whether or not you're going to be really successful in this relationship. Um, again, I'm seeing here communication. This may be a lack of communication going on here. Maybe some of you are not talking about. So due to you're feeling like you're not being successful because there's a lack of communication. But what I do want to also show you is although there may seem like a lack of action or lack of communication, someone is still working on this. So again, um, this takes me back to here. You know, you thinking things are one way, but it's another way. There's something else going on behind closed doors. OK, let's find out what's going on here in the near future. We have separation here in the near future for cancer. What's going on here in the near future for cancer? Thank you, spirit. So we have love here. So although there's a separation, I do see, still see a beginning in love here. Let me see what this is about. Mm. Let's clarify this further. <sighs> okay, so there's a separation, but yet there's a beginning in love. Again, the ace, I mean, the queen of swords came out, but now in reverse. So... Um, you may not be talking to this person in the near future because there's something that's going to happen. Um, I'm seeing the tower here as well. This is destruction. This is things coming down. As you see, this is a lot of turmoil. So um, something's happening here. That's what's going on, Spirit. Please clarify further. Okay, again, but but I, I'm still seeing you guys doing well. So um, there's 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 a transformation happening. But Cancer, I see you guys doing well still. You still are moving towards something positive. This is achievement. So Cancer, good for you. This is King of um, King of Cups here and the Eight of Pentacles. So it's like, what else? Clarify further, please. Hmm. So some of you um, may currently be separated and you may be recovering this. You may be... Um, in the near future, maybe you may need to rest, take a break. Uh, let's get more clarity, Cancer. What's Cancer doing in the near future, the following week, Spirit? Thank you. What's going on here? So, okay, so during this time, there may be some separation going on in the near future, but it's to usher in this growth here. So you guys may be taking a step back and realizing that and feeling like things are maybe, maybe you're separate. Maybe you feel like there's a lot going on. Maybe there will be a lot of, it may be a lot of turmoil. But uh, as, as while this separation is going on, I feel like there's a lot more going on behind the scenes, again, that's bringing on this turmoil. But nonetheless, the love is still there. And you have two aces here. So you have the growth in love, okay? Growing in love in the near future. <sighs> yes. Okay. So what is this? Uh, cl clarify this unrequited love spirit. Thank you. Who is this unrequited love about? What is this about? So there's a nine of wands here. So this is about someone giving up on an unrequited love. So I feel like there's some, um, there's a definite move in a new direction. And as a result, you may not be speaking to someone or someone may not be speaking to you as much, but it looks like it has to do with them giving up on an unrequited love. Let's clarify one more step, one more, one more again, <laughs> one more time, God. Clarify one more time. Oh, and this is flipping in my hand. Wow. Okay. So this flipped out, guys. I just want to, I mean, I mean, it literally like turned, like, I, I feel like it was like this and it was flipping in my hand before I flipped it over so I could show it to you like this. This is the five of pentacles. This is about abandonment. This is about feeling like you're separated from your partner, but this is coming to an end. So some of you, again, I feel like has already been separated, um, but this is you like coming out of this in the near future. Um, so this is all in regards to this unrequited love. So someone is giving up on an unrequited love situation that may have made you feel feeling abandoned. And now this is turning around for you. Um, 
but you may still be separated during this time. You still may not be talking. But guys, I'd love to hear your comments. So make sure you leave your comments below. Let's find out about your mate really quickly. And then we're going to go on the other side to Vimeo and get a little more clarity in regards to your relationship. Identify the obstacles and blocks. And then we're going to get you some advice, okay? Thank you again, Cancer. Blessings, blessings to you, okay? So for your partner, past, present, and future, past, present, and future, for Cancer's partner. Okay, so this is a past life relationship here. This is someone you knew from the past. So whoever it was that you were dealing with, I feel like this person knows that you have this deep bond. This is my twin flame card as well. So someone knew you were a twin flame, okay? And currently may not be making the effort in this relationship, okay? Ooh. And in their future, though, they will be flirting with you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So in the near future, also, I'm seeing engagement in reverse. Ooh, I feel like I'm holding this wrong. Engagement in reverse and passion in reverse. So let's see what this is in regards to on the other side. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Cancers. I'll see you again in May. Or oh, actually, I'll see you at the end of this month. I'm going to try to keep up with my weekly reading, guys. So make sure you thumbs up before you leave, and I'll see you again in May. Bye-bye.